met a horrible fate. This was the period of Red Hot Summer. This was the period where about that what it is, you'd already had riots in St. Louis, other places. And now you have them in, in Omaha. What happened was they, they had a woman say that she had been uh, molested or had been sexually uh, abused by a black man. And that's all that needed to be said. That's all they needed. On September 25th, 1919, Agnes Lobeck identified 40-year-old Will Brown as the man who attacked her. Brown was then arrested and taken to the Douglas County Courthouse. Before Brown was even identified, a civic storm was already brewing in Omaha due to a series of inflammatory stories published in the Omaha Bee and struggles for political power between racketeer Thomas Dennison and Omaha's mayor, Edward Smith. What's interesting is, is that the mayor attempted to keep them from taking Will Brown out of jail. And he suffered from an inch of his life, of his life being taken from him. And that was really the intent from the very beginning, to, to, to really kill him, as well as to bring about the, uh, the racial tension even more so. On the evening of September 28th, 1919, a crowd of an estimated 5,000 to 10,000 people gathered outside the Douglas County Courthouse yeah, and demanded wrong. that I Brown be handed over to them. 3, Inside the courthouse, a frightened judge and other prisoners sent a note down to the crowd, saying that they would surrender Brown. We're the bloodthirsty crowd did not wait and rushed Look into the courthouse the to court seize Brown. Once in the hands of the crowd, Brown was beaten, hung from a lamppost, and shot more than 100 times. They the real savages. Actor Henry Fonda, at the time just 14 years old, witnessed the horrendous event from a second-story window at his father's printing company across the street from the courthouse. The ghastly melee ended with the burning of Will Brown's body. An Omaha World Herald photographer captured one of the most infamous photographs in American history. Facebook kicked me off because of that. After the riot, federal troops were called in, and for two days, Omaha was under martial law. Even though over 100 people were arrested in connection with the riot and the murder of Will Brown, no one was charged. For Omaha's black community, an editorial picture published in the Monitor spoke volumes. Will Brown was buried in 1919 in an unmarked grave in Powders Field at Forest Lawn Cemetery in Omaha. Ninety years out. later, in July of 2009, a man from Riverside, California, Chris Abair, who has no ties to the city of Omaha and has never visited before, was moved to pay $450 of his own money for a marker for Will Brown's grave. Good job, brother. Good job. Abair said that he watched a special on actor Henry Fonda, which mentioned the riot and how it affected his so. life and his acting career. Abair also said that he hopes people will stop by the headstone and reflect on what happened to Will Brown in 1919 so that we may never let ourselves sink again to this level of inhumanity. That's on my bucket list. Sneaky ass, come on. Like, share, subscribe to my videos.